to tell you a story about Rav Shnei Kotler. We all know who Rav Shnei Kotler was, or what he meant to Klal Yisrael. And one of his sons was unfortunately, uh, maybe totally off the of derech, I'm not sure, but he was, and he was at that time, I think, in the Israeli army. And Rav Shnei came to Eretz Yisrael to do what he had to do, to meet with various gedolim about all kinds of Klal and Yonim, uh, Gurus Yisrael, Chinuch Hatzoyah, whatever it was. And he took that son along with him to all the G'daylam that he went to. And the son was sporting a ponytail. And I'm not sure about the rest of how he looked, but obviously did not look like what we'd expect the son of Rav Shnei to look like. And he took him all around with him, wherever he went. And he introduced him with such pride. This is my son. This is my son. That took a tremendous amount of gvura. And he's Boch Hashem, he's fine today. He's, 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 a, he's a, a shining star. Boch Hashem, he works for the Tzibor. He's, he's a whole different person. And I'm not sure if that was it, but that certainly was along this Mahalach that uh, helped him. His father accepted him. His father accepted him. We don't know what causes the children the pain that they have. We don't know, whatever it may be, but there's some pain. And it's very important, we have to, it's very hard not to, to, uh, to attach some degree of blame to the child. To some extent, it's their fault. To some extent, uh, they shouldn't have taken it that badly or they shouldn't have reacted that way. We can't look at it like that at all. Just like... You say you have 10 people, they all eat the same food, and one of them starts getting all swollen and can't breathe and is, is in an epileptic shock, whatever. That child is allergic, that person is allergic to that food. It's not their fault. Now, even if we find out whatever it is, and we might say to ourselves, but that doesn't justify him to do what he did. That's the reason why he does what he does. Oh, come on. That's the reason why he should act the way he's acting. That's not for us to say because we don't know how it affects that person's mind. We don't know what's going on in their mind. They may have their mind work differently and they react differently to than we might have reacted to the same trauma or stimulus or whatever. And the fact is that they reacted that way. The fact is that they're showing those symptoms. The mice, he is in uh, allergic shock. It doesn't make a difference whether we understand why that person is that way. We have to realize they are nusim. They're not to blame at all. They're mamish not to blame. And we have to get that out of our minds and realize that they are chaylem and they need to be treated that way. And although we don't understand why they do it, but... You have to give the medicine, and if this is the medicine, then that's the medicine. You can't give a different medicine. You have to give the right medicine. So, Demis says, I'm really awed by what Rabavi has said. It's 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 really a um, a great lesson in 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 how to deal with people and how to make care of people and how a yid should understand another yid who's in who's in need. And just as a possible thought, as a, um, a message before Rosh Hashanah. There's a famous, famous Maimah Chazal. The tour brings it in, in the beginning of Hilchas Rosh Hashanah, where it says there that Klal Yisrael are so special, different than all the other nations. All the other nations, when they come to a din, so they're very worried. Major case, let's say if someone Khalila has to come to a capital case where it's a question of capital punishment. So they're fadaigit, they're worried, and they put on black clothing, and they're really uh, in, a, in, a, in a terrible state. And we, Klaal Yisrael, when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, we put on white begadim, and we, and we do uh, bathe ourselves, and we, and we take haircuts, and we make ourselves look nice, and we eat, and we drink. Because the Klal Yisrael are betuchim that the Rosh will do a nace for them and the din will go well. That's uh, approximately the Lashon of Chazal that the two brings. So, how do we understand this? What does it mean? Tuchim bedin, we know. You look at Lashon of the Tvilas and the Sanat the Malachim are trembling. And uh, everyone is in awe of 
Mi'itzak lefanecha kol choy. Who's going to end up being able to be zeicha b'din? It's it's a great great pachad. We're in trepidation. So there's a very famous teretz that the Alter from Kelm, Rabbi Simcha Zisol from Kelm said, and he said like this: Every individual, as an individual, has to be afraid. We don't know. We don't know if we're going to make it through the din, and there is what to be afraid of. The klal Yisrael as a klal. Abatuchim b'din, klal Yisrael abatuchim. They have a guarantee that they'll make it to the din. So the Alter from Kelm used to say, so the eitzah for a person to be zeicha and the din is to make yourself part of the klal, to become a person that goes beyond their own mechitzas, their own dalarambas, their own interests, and to be interested in others, in the klal. And as Abavi mentioned before. The greatest chiyav of chesed is to one's own mishpacha. In fact, that's why the Chavos Avava says that chalil of someone, obviously someone who's not uh, ill or, or, or not in sound mind, if someone chalil uh, takes their own life, it's considered a terrible avera, even worse than, than committing murder. Because the closer the person is to you, the greater a time. If someone chalil kills his own brother, it's worse than if he kills a stranger. And oneself, that's the closest to you. So the pshat is that, that if you can go out of yourself and realize that you belong to a greater group, you're part of a family, you're part of a klal, and you do for them whatever you can do in some way, so then you looked at, not as an individual, you're looked at as part of the team, and the team is betuach. So if we can become a team, it's Hashem, I'm not a family member, but I hope to try to do what I can to do my little part. And, and if the family pulls together and looks to be that unit, they'll be their own klal. And you'll all be betuchim bedin. And it should be mitzvah for everyone. And um, we'll all be zoicha through that by showing that we care for each other. Because when we're a group, Together, there's no way that, that we can't be zeichet together. So it's a wonderful tribute to everyone that took the time and cared enough to come. And Mr. Shem, we shouldn't lose our fervor to want to step, go forward and keep on doing what's necessary. And like you mentioned, it may take time and the first overtures might be met with disappointment, but you'll get through to them. And, and it, so many mice to prove that, that if initially a person, you know, sort of rejects it, but little by little, you wear them down. You wear them down, so to speak, and their resistance wears down. If they see that you really mean it, there's nothing like Aza Kamovis, Avas, there's nothing that can stand up to it. And eventually, he'll feel that we care about him, and then we have an open, open uh, derech to bring him back. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.